Hey guys, Ryan here. <sighs> Welcome back to another episode of Minecraft Desolation. As you can see, right in front of me we've got two graves. I went ahead and made the one for the mayor that we killed and he was a zombie so I suppose it was, you know, fair enough. I did go ahead and put some flowers down, red, white and blue, because obviously American flag, red, white and blue. I thought it was kind of a nice touch, and then <sighs> we had a little bit of an accident. So I mentioned last episode that I went and um, got two llamas, got two foxes, and somehow the fox got out of the pen, and I was trying to put him back into the pen, and I tried to punch him back in because he wasn't going back in, and he died from one punch, and I, I don't know how, because I know for a fact that foxes don't have that low of health. I mean, I don't know for a fact, but I'm pretty sure they can't be one one shot by a punch. So I don't know how he died, but either way he died, and because he was always carrying a rabbit hide in his mouth, I decided, hey, why not go for the name Hyde? So... Here we've got a grave for Hyde the Fox, and then, of course, Mayor William Cassidy. So, may they rest in peace, I suppose. So, I did make these graves as well. It's pretty cool. So, moving on from that, anyway, I just wanted to show you guys that. I have been doing a little bit of work outside of episode. Not much, I don't want to do too much work on the house outside of episode. I just wanted to get a few things set and ready so that we kind of know what we're doing in this episode. And, um, as you can see, I've got a few more parrots. I've got two parrots here. I did go to a jungle. I've got some bamboo as well. They're going to be quite loud, I think. So, we might have to keep them away from the house. But, I did, outside of episode, go exploring. Because, obviously, the fox died. I wanted to go and get some more. So, I did. We've still got one fox over there. And I managed to find um, an arctic fox down here, and I have got two more down here. I separated them because that one over there was a baby, so I thought that if I separated them... I'm getting a little bit of lag here, I'm not too sure why. It's a little bit strange, I apologise about that. Um, I think it's because of the bamboo, to be fair, because it's growing quite fast. But I thought that if I separated the baby from the adults... Then when it grew up, it would, like, not be afraid of me, but it's still running away. I believe it's because I didn't breed them, and I just found it. I just found the baby fox with them, and brought it back here. It took me ages. I, I don't want to talk about it. But it took me ages, and it's still scared of me, so I'm going to have to breed them myself. I'm not too sure how breeding with foxes work, because I'm not sure if I breed the two arctic foxes in this biome. If they're going to spawn as an arctic fox or just a normal fox. Not too sure how that works. But we do need another baby fox as well. Because this fox is scared of me too. So eventually we'll have like babies of everything. Because why not? But also I showed you guys the parrots. Basically while in the jungle I managed to find two parrots. I will show you guys the clips here. So, those were the clips. As you can see, I found the blue one first, and then I found the red one. The red clip, the one of the red one, I actually cut down because I didn't have enough seeds to tame it originally. So I had to go and break some grass and stuff like that, and I figured that was just boring. You guys don't want to see that. So I cut that bit out and just showed you me taming it. So we have got a blue parrot, and we've got a red parrot as well. And these are going to stay as parrots, because... That's what they are, they're parrots. So, what we're going to be doing in this episode today is hopefully, fingers crossed, finishing our house. Not furniture-wise, but um, structure-wise, hopefully we will be finishing our house. 
So I will show you what I've done since the last episode. I haven't done too much. I put this fireplace in here. I meant to turn it off and then we'd light it in the episode, but it's still it's still burning. I don't think campfires burn, I'm pretty sure. They don't burn wood down, so I think that's quite good. If they do, I'll turn fire tick off. It won't be much of an issue. Um, so there's not really, not much has changed in here other than um, this flooring here. I, I dug out the floor and changed all of that. I completely forgot I did that. I went ahead and f worked out where all the holes for the windows were. So I went ahead and put them in so we could put this glass in there like that. So this is the area down here. If we come up here, I finished the floor, I stripped it all, and I set up this area here. So this is going to be one room here. It's going to be quite small because the roof, I'm doing hand gestures, and you guys can't see it, but the roof is going to be diagonal here. So it's going to be quite slanted in here. There's not going to be too much room because it's not going to be, it's not going to be a big room anyway, I'll put it that way. There's going to be a few windows here so we can like see out here and see out here, just out down there because why not see the hospital. I went ahead and built the fireplace, like the chimney here. Um, it I, it was just, I wouldn't say it's a complex design, it's just there's a lot of stairs involved and it was just easier to do outside of episodes, so that's what I went ahead and did. And I also built this wall here to show where this room is going to be. This is going to be the bedroom, so this is also, I went ahead and did this because this is just going to be annoying to do in the video. It's starting to become night already, it's crazy. I slept just before this episode, it's crazy. So this is going to be a balcony. So eventually, this is basically, this bit is going to be level with like the third floor I suppose, or the roof, the attic, or the loft, whatever you call it. I call it the loft because that's just how I say it. But that's where it's going to be, but it's basically going to be a room, it's not going to be like storage and everything. There is going to be a little bit of storage up there. But it's not going to be specifically storage. So we, I may, I placed my bed here, put the sign there, because that's going to be like the little head post there. It's going to be basically the stairs leading upstairs that are going to be right here. So they are going to be coming up here. So you're not going to be able to see this sign very much because I'm going to have a little desk here under the stairs. It's going to be nice when we do it. But I don't think we're going to do much interior design in this episode because we're seven minutes in already and we haven't really done much. So, to get today started, we are going to go ahead and make, we need to make some slabs. So we might as well, um, let's see, okay, we're going to need this, we might as well move this inside. We're not going to be using... Um, this stone cutter inside the house for anything. We're probably going to make like a little garage or something for that. But for now, we're just going to place this here and this here because we are going to need some stairs and we're going to be doing a lot of crafting, I think, throughout this episode. Making stairs and slabs and all kinds of other things. So, there we are. So now that we've got those, basically, this design. We might as well do this overhang right here. I nearly forgot what the word was. I was in, in my head, I was like, okay, what's the word for this? Don't mess it up, Brian. And it is called an overhang. So we're going to work on this overhang. This is going to be dark oak because I think it just looks nicer when there is a darker border to the roof, I suppose. I mean, it's just personal preference, really. There's not really anything else to it other than that. So we're going to take all of these, we're going to turn these into stairs also, which is going to give us 16 more. Very nice. Okay, so let's see. We need to go one like this and another one like this and then here and if we hop over to here, we're going to place one there too. And I believe we want to go like that. Did it place right? Yes, it did. Very nice. And one there like that. See, normally I wouldn't go with a design like this, but the design I saw on Google Images had it like this, and I was like, you know what, we're going to stick to it anyway. Um, basically, I think I mentioned a few episodes ago, but if you just go on Google Images, search Minecraft Cabin, you'll find something that's pretty much like this, because that's where I got the idea from. I did go ahead and change quite a few things, like the size and 
a few of the colors, you know, like the palette, I suppose. But if you go on Google Images and just search Minecraft Cabin, you'll find it anyway. So if you want to build this for yourself, then that's how you can do it. So we want to go ahead and do this here. Do we have any? Yes, we do. There we are. So this right here is going to be where the wall is. So we're going to want to build this up like this because these steps, actually, there is going to be a window here. I nearly forgot about that. But we're going to keep placing this all the way around like this. We can continue. We can craft some more at some point. But I do want to just get this roof bit done here. So this, we're going to place this here because we want it to be like this. So it's a full block against the side of the window. Like this. There we go. I believe that that's right. Yes, it is. And then the log is going to be like this. So we might as well come and do this too. Bang, bang. Bang. Don't know why I'm saying bang bang. It has nothing to do with placing logs, but we're going to keep saying it anyway. Bang bang. Okay, there we are. So now that we've done this bit, we might as well do it on this other side as well, while we've still got the spruce slabs or stairs in our hands. Here we are. So the goal of this episode is to finish the main structure of the house then. Next episode, we can move on to some other things. We can turn all of these into logs, because they're going to need to be. There's no window on this side because there's going to be vines on the outside. And um, yeah, so next episode we'll probably be moving on and doing something else. Probably going to the military base because that is something I want to do. Um, because I believe there's some good stuff in there. So we're going to place this slab here. This is how this is going to look. Like this and like this. So hopefully we can get this done in this episode. Then we can move on to other things and then in a few episodes we can do the interior because I want to do that in an episode two. So now that we've done that we can come ahead with these stairs and place them all the way along like this. Okay, looking good so far. We are going to run out of spruce slabs again so we might as well... Since there's 12 there, we might as well turn all of these into logs and turn all of these into stairs. And same goes with these. We'll make um, 12. Okay, there we go. Turn all of these into planks and turn them all into stairs. There we are. Perfect. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to come over to this side and continue working. We're going to be doing it from just this side because it's easier. I'm going to keep going along like this. It's going to be a lot of me just saying what I'm doing really rather than actually talking about anything and I realize as well as I'm talking about this. Last episode I'm pretty sure I said that it was like episode 13 or 14. I didn't realize that it was actually episode 15 so we have done so many. This is episode 16 I'm pretty sure. So we have actually done more episodes than I originally thought we had. I didn't realise we were this far into all the episodes, to be fair. So we're going to continue doing this. This is all going to be spruce and um, dark oak slabs, like that, because it's just going to be pretty cool. And once again, a border, a little bit of colour differentiation. Is that how you say the word? I'm pretty sure it is different. I don't know. We'll just stick with it. Differentiation? Maybe I'm saying that wrong. I don't know. I think that's how you say it. I could be wrong though. So we're going to continue working on here. I was, I believe the original roof design was oak and spruce. But since the main walls were made of oak, I didn't want to use oak for the roof as well. Because it just blended together too much. And I didn't like that. So we've gone ahead and for our design, we've gone ahead and we're going to use spruce and dark oak instead. Because I just I just think it looks a little bit better. I know I don't wouldn't say it looks incredible because the original design looked quite good as well. I, it's just, it all comes down to personal preference, to be fair. And like I've said in the past video, I'm not the best builder. I mean, I wouldn't say I can't build, but I wouldn't say I'm the best builder either. So we've got this roof done now, actually. So I do take a lot of like ideas from things I see and just things like that. So we can now come 
and do this on the inside here like this. So this is how this is going to be. We are going to need to get some more oak wood. The good thing is I did go ahead. We are prepared with supplies. We're not prepared in crafting supplies, but we are prepared in the fact that I do have them all ready to go. I just have to craft them into what I need them to be. So, I'm going to come here and we're going to... Oh, really, Ryan? Come on. We're going to turn all of these, so then that's a stack right there. And what we'll do is we'll come ahead... Not come ahead, go ahead and place all of this here. I believe we're going to need some just spruce blocks there like this. Because... We are going to... This one's going to be oak, like that. But we are going to have to place them all the way along here. Like this. We're just going to leave us with five. Okay. Then we're going to have to make some more of these. And place that there. There we go. Perfect. So now, what we can do is we can... We didn't make any spruce slabs. But we need to. Okay. Let's see. We're going to place... 12 there like that. I'm a, I apologize if you can hear me clicking. Uh, my mouse is quite loud, I suppose. I don't really I don't really do much clicking in episodes really other than for in Crafting Dead and Fear the Crafting Dead where I'm talking to custom NPCs, but other than that, you don't really hear much clicking as far as I'm aware in my videos. So, we're going to go ahead and did I not place that block? Could have sworn I placed that, but apparently not to go ahead and place these again. This bit, I am going to do trap doors, I believe, is how I designed it. So, there we go. I'm honestly quite proud. I'm not very good at, like, interior design, like, in Minecraft builds. But, I have to say, I am very impressed with myself in, in this build. And you guys may think... Oh, Ryan, that's that's nothing. That's really not as good as you think it is. I am impressed with myself, okay? I'm happy with how I did it. I haven't built anything that I think actually looks this good in a while. So, I'm really proud of how this is going to turn out. Hopefully, you guys will like it too. But we're going to come ahead. I don't know why I keep saying that. I keep meaning to say we need to, we're going to go ahead. But I keep saying we're going to come ahead. And it doesn't make any sense. So I don't know why I'm saying it, but I continue to say it anyway. That's just me in a nutshell, really. So we're going to keep coming here. And I believe we need to get these oak logs level with this. Because this is going to be coming in like this. And then I believe that this is going to be like this. And then like this. I'm pretty sure it's starting to become nice. So we better sleep so there's no zombies get into our base we are going to make the gate for our base as well i just have to show you where we're going to get the sticky pistons from first so we're going to go ahead and we're 18 minutes into this video already it's going to be a bit of a long one today because i am not stopping this video until we finish building this house that's that's my promise to you guys so also this bit is something that I found a little bit weird because in the original design, in the original, I didn't have this chimney, and in the picture I saw, it didn't have the chimney either, and or the fireplace, and this wall is really flat, and I really didn't like how it looked. So I decided, hey, if we can add something that adds a bit of depth to the flat surface of the wall, that'd be perfect. So we built this, and there are going to be a load of vines, so it's not going to be too big of a deal, I believe. I don't actually remember what um, the floor is made of here. Ah, that was something I meant to check before the episode, but obviously I forgot. So I'll have to check that outside of the episode, but that'll be fine. So here we are. We're going to place this here like this. Yep, okay, looking good. And what's going on here? Does this... I don't actually remember. I think... Yeah, I think we're going to break this. It's going to come like this. Yeah, that looks good. Okay. So like that. And we're going to have to... We've ran out of oak logs already. 
We really, we're just going to grab two stacks of oak logs here because we're going to need them. So we might as well. Like I said, I'm not too sure what the upstairs, um, we might as well grab another stack of each type of log. Because then that way we don't have to keep running down here. There was something that I then thought to myself, hey, I need that, make sure I get it. Um, I mean, I need stone buttons, so we might as well take the stone, but I don't actually remember what it was, so I just remembered I needed. But I'm sure we'll remember, and then we'll have to run down again in a moment. So, ah, that's what it was. Trap doors! That's what I needed to remember, and that's what I forgot to remember. So we need spruce, and we need some dark oak, um, not slabs, trap doors. So if we come on up here, I'm going to place these there, there. There, there, and there, and then if we take these dark oak ones, we can place that there. There we go, and that's what I wanted to do. Okay, good, good. Now we are going to take these oak logs and come back up here and continue where we left off. Um, do we want to do that there? No, we'll leave that. We'll leave that how it is. So, now I believe the stairs keep coming up to here, and hmm... Okay, so, how does this floor go? Is it an oak floor? I honestly don't remember. I know this bit is oak, and I know that this bit is oak as well, because this is where the door's going to be for the balcony. So, let me think here. Hmm, okay. So, let's see. So it's going to be directly in the middle. We're going to... Okay. We're going to place this here. I'm start, I'm just trying to get my thoughts together here. Gather my thoughts up. And figure out what it is that we're actually going to be doing here. So I believe this goes like that. Yes, it does. Very nice. Don't know why I'm saying very nice. It's not like I did anything big. We're going to keep coming like this, and these stairs are going to be like this. Good, they're all placing the way they're supposed to. That's very nice, because normally they don't. So then, let's see, we need... Yeah, we've got some spruce slabs. So this is a spruce slab, this is a spruce slab, and then these are all spruce slabs. There we go, placing those there. Now we need some dark oak stairs, and we need some spruce stairs, which we've got there. Perfect. We're going to need some more in a second. But this, directly in the middle, this is going to be dark oak. Oh man, no, I messed up. I just realized these aren't supposed to be spruce stairs. These are meant to be dark oak. We can get those in a little while, but that's fine. And break this. I just realized because we've got the darker border. I just remembered about that. And I forgot when I was placing the slabs. The good thing is there aren't too many slabs that are falling to the ground. We have to go down to our crafting table anyway, so we have to go down anyway. So there we go, that's what we needed to do. I've took some fall damage. My armor started to break as well, so we're going to have to get some new armor at some point. I do know where some um, diamond leggings are, so we can get some of those. But it does involve going into the city that is completely overrun. That fireplace sound is really unsettling. <laughs> it really is. Okay, we're going to place these here while we're down here, because we might as well. There are going to be flowers in those eventually. I'm trying to find some rose bushes, because that's what we're going to be using. Because I just... I always liked rose bushes. They have a little bit of sentimental value to me, for some reason. So, I just like them, really. So, we can come back up now that we've got our slabs. We need some more... Um, spruce stairs. So we're going to make 12 more of these. Click, click, click. There we go. And we're going to take all of these. I know I can just shift click, but I don't want them to go with the four I've already got for some reason. Don't question me, okay? <laughs> okay, we're going to keep coming back with this. <clears throat> so, now... Aha! Uh -huh. I think I know what I've done here. Okay, so I believe <clears throat> because the walls are going to be... Oh, actually. Is this right? Yes, it's right. Yeah, it's just going to be a bit weird. Okay, so this does come like this all the way along here. 
Okay. So this is going to be... I don't think we need this one here. But we're going to place that like that. And this is where the roof's going to be. You can't see this. Like I said, this wall is a weird one. I don't like it. But it's going to look fine. And we're not going to have to worry about that once we're done. So let's see. What were we doing? The stairs. So let's come here. I believe if we break this, then we turn that into a block. This should curve around. If we could grab that. There we go. Like this. I think this is how it goes. I'm not 100% sure. I could be wrong. <clears throat> if it is wrong, I'll check it outside of the episode. But this looks about right. I think this looks right. So I think this is how it does. And this is how it's done. So now that we've done that, what we can do is we can come ahead. Um, not. Why do I keep saying that? I don't. I don't know why I keep saying that. It's go ahead. <clears throat> and sorry, my voice went a little bit weird there. And I had to clear my throat. My voice went a little bit raspy there. So, we're going to go and place that there. How many buttons do we need? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So, we need 9 buttons. So, let's go ahead and make 9 of these. At the time of this recording as well, I might as well talk about this. For those of you that watch the actual show, The Walking Dead, at the time that I'm um, recording this episode, the first episode of Season 10 came out last night at um, 9, I think it was. Um, because obviously I live in the UK, so I see the episodes on a Monday, whereas in America you obviously get it on the Sunday night. So I saw it yesterday for me in real life because it was Monday yesterday. It's Tuesday when I'm recording this. Probably not going to be Tuesday when this comes out. But either way, the episode um, or the season premi premiere came out. I don't know why I can't speak. I, I really don't, but I just can't. Um, the season premiere came out. Actually, I think I've done this wrong. I think that this actually does just go here. Maybe it doesn't. I don't remember. I think it does, actually. I think we might have messed this up, you know. Okay, we're going to go and grab these. Okay. But yeah, so like I was saying, the season premiere of Walking Dead Season 10 came out last night. I did watch it. I have to say that I was actually quite impressed with the episode. Recently, I haven't been enjoying Walking Dead as much as I used to. I mean, in my opinion, once Rick was gone and then they introduced the Whisperers, spoiler, if you guys don't watch the show, um, spoiler alert, I'm going to say it now, spoiler alert, spoiler alert, before, before I continue, okay? So, basically, this episode is going on for a while as well, but basically, I haven't been enjoying Walking Dead as much as I used to, but then they introduced the Whisperers, which I knew were coming because I've read the comics. But I am liking the way they're going with the comics. I do like Magna's group. I like Magna, Yumiko, you know, Kelly, Connie, Luke. I like those guys. They are some of my favorite characters. Um, um, I, I forgot. I lost my train of thought there. It's starting to become night again, but that's fine. We'll just continue doing this. So they are some of my favorite characters at the minute. Of course, I like Daryl as well. Always like Daryl. Especially like Dog, because Dog is just adorable. Didn't mean to do that. Um, who can't love Dog if Dog dies? We're going to be so upset as a community, I'm pretty sure. So we're going to go ahead and place that. There we go. So that's the, that's the overhang done there. And we can come and sleep in our bed. There we go. So I do like the new characters that are in the show. There is one specific character I am looking forward to seeing in the show that has been announced and they have casted an actress to play her. So I am excited to see how they represent her in the show. Yeah, this is right. Okay, I didn't know if what I was doing was right here, but it is, luckily. So we're going to go ahead and turn these into planks. There we go. So there's going to be a window here. So I'm not too sure what the floor's going to be made of. I don't actually remember what it's going to be made of. But, I do know, and it's going to be like this. So like I was saying, I keep losing my train of thought, I apologise, I'm useless with things like this. 
Um, I am looking forward to seeing how they portray her in the show because she's definitely a very interesting character in the comics, which have now ended, if you guys didn't know that. Um, so I am very interested to see how they portray her in the show, if they're going to do it well, if they're going to stick to the comics. There are a lot of storylines from the comics that I would like to see in the show, a lot of um, storylines that I don't think they can even do anymore, most of which because, spoiler alert, Carl is dead in the show, and Rick is missing. He's meant to be coming back, I believe. I don't know when. I honestly didn't think he was coming back. I think he was just gonna be, I thought he was just gonna be in The Walking Dead films and then not come back. I thought that was what he was doing, but apparently that's not the case. So, maybe they can do the ending they did in the comics, which could be pretty cool because I don't think there was any better way to end the series, really. Because I just thought it was... I thought it was very impressive, to be fair, the way they ended it. So, what are we doing here? Ah, yes. Okay, so we're going to continue doing this. This episode is going on for a lot longer than I thought it was going to. I apologize for that. But let's move on to my thoughts about the season premiere. I... It's ignited my excitement for Walking Dead again. I will put it that way. I am so excited for the next episode, which I can't say has been the case for the past few seasons. I mean, towards the end of last season, it started to get a little bit better, but this season I was kind of like, mm, I don't know if it's going to be, I don't know if it's going to be any good, but I'm liking what they're doing with the show. I was liking all the atmospheric shots, you know, um, if you guys haven't seen it, you'll have no clue what I'm talking about and just skip to when I stop talking, which I don't know when that'll be, I apologize. But I was li I'm liking all of like the atmospheric shots that they were doing in um, the episode, and I thought I thought they were just quite cool. And the slow mo shots as well, when they're killing walkers and they're yeah you know doing it all in slow motion. I mean, wow, that was quite cool. I mean, one of my one of the most memorable mo memorable moments. I'm so sorry. I'm speeding my words and I'm talking so fast I can't speak. I need to slow myself down. My most memorable moment, or one of them, anyway, was when Michonne, the sword-wheeling, you know, sword-wielding, strong woman, let's be honest, she is incredible, um, is when she used her sword, and, um, as she does, obviously, um, when she cut a walker's face off, like, she just straight up cut it off. Lovely. I know you guys probably don't want to know about that if you don't watch the show. But, she straight up cut it off, and it was in slow motion, and it was crazy. It was something they have never done on the show, and I've got to admit, I am a fan of the slow motion shots. I'll be completely honest, I am liking what they're doing with this season. I can't say I remember who it was that directed the episode, but whoever it was, I mean, I'm pretty impressed with what they've done so far. And I mean, I know it's not much, but so far, I'm really looking forward to the next episode. I'm interested to see more about where they're going to go with the Whisper storyline, if they're going to stick to the one they went with in the comics. There's a story, certain storyline, including Negan, that I'm hoping is going to be in the show. If it's not, I'm going to be quite disappointed because it's one of my favorite arcs in the comics. So I'm going to be a little bit disappointed if they don't stick to that. But if they do, I'm trying to think, is this spruce here? I think it is, but that's not where it's meant to be. It's meant to be here, I believe. There's going to be a little bit of an arch here. Um, let's go ahead here. So yeah, like I was saying, I do be I'm do. i hoping that they're going to stick to the story arc that he gets in the comics, because I do like what they did a lot, and I'm looking forward to seeing it in the show. So if they don't do it, I'm going to be a little bit disappointed, but if they do, then great, because I am looking forward to it. And I'm honestly just looking forward to, as much as I don't like Negan or don't want to like him, you just, he's one of those people you just can't help but like him. I mean, he, the things he says and, and the way he acts, it's, it's ridiculous. You just can't help 
but like him. And even though he's the bad guy and you're not meant to like him, he's just so likeable. It's, it's, it's ridiculous. He really is just so likeable. And I messed this bit up here. But he is, he is so likeable. And I think that's why I like him so much. Obviously, he's just so random. His sayings are incredible. I, I just really like him. He's definitely one of my favorite characters. Even though he, spoiler alert, killed Glenn and Abraham. Who, eventually, I mean, I've watched that episode so many times. That by now... It doesn't phase me because I'm one of those people that will watch the same show over and over and over again. I mean, Walking Dead specifically, I have watched at least a dozen times from series one all the way up to where we currently were. And I mean, I am mid rewatching it right now. And because obviously the new season's back, I'll take a break from that because I'll just be watching the new episodes. But it's it's a show that I love so much. And I can watch that show so many times, and I can know exactly what's coming, and I will still be impressed. I, I really will. It's just, I enjoy it that much. It's really, it really is one of the things I am incredibly passionate about, to be fair. So, uh, we, wow, this video is going on for a while. I know. And I promised that I would finish um, this house in this episode, so that's exactly what I will do. I made a promise. I plan to keep it, even if it takes me over the 40 minute mark, which means this is going to be a long episode for you guys. If you, if you watch it, I mean, I really appreciate it. You know, I mean, this series hasn't been getting the most amount of views. And of course I know why it's because obviously most of you come here for crafting dead. So when it's not a crafting dead video, Half of you, or I say half of you, quite a few of you, don't tend to watch these kind of videos. Honestly, my channel has gone down in views um, recently. I mean, I, I noticed it originally when I took, I believe it was a two-week break, way back in like season 15 of Crafting Dead or something like that, when I was um, building the UK for um, the episode where... Brian and Negan and the Saviors went and um, killed Claw, the leader of the Aces. That took me a while, and after that episode, my views dropped significantly on Crafting Dead. And since then, they haven't built back up. I mean, a hundred views per video. I mean, I will still take that. I am, it's. I'm very impressed that I am still doing, you know, or still managing to get. 100 p views per video, you know, because that's still a really high number. I mean, uh, normally I start to get, like, nervous or, you know, thinking the videos aren't good enough when I see that they aren't getting many videos. But then when I when I imagine in my head 100, like, say my video gets 200 views. If I picture in my head 200 people, I mean, that is how many people are watching my videos and then immediately I'm like wow even though it's not a lot compared to bigger youtubers that is still a lot of people and I really appreciate all of you that do stick by and watch the videos even if they aren't crafting dead because I know a lot of you like I said just come here for that and I do try and keep up with that I'm I'm really bad at keeping schedules and things like that and writing episodes I mean I've wrote so many episodes of Crafting Dead by now that I'm starting to get to the point where I'm struggling to come up with ideas. Or I wouldn't say I'm struggling to come up with ideas. I'm struggling to get to the ideas. Because obviously you have to have a build-up, you have to do this, you have to do that, and it has to make sense. So a lot of the episodes that I've been making recently are just filler episodes. But like I said last episode, there are big things coming. It's just a matter of getting to those big things. And I also know that my videos aren't the best quality as well. And I know sometimes they don't seem that incredible. But I do put a lot of work into my videos. I'm not the best editor, so I'm not very good at that. I do try and learn a few things. But because I use Screencast-O-Matic, there's not really much I can do in the way of editing. Because 
without Screencast-O-Matic, I would have no clue where to go about editing or anything like that, to be fair. I am going to try and teach myself at some point, but obviously, because I film on a laptop as well, it's kind of a little bit difficult. The quality is not the best as it would be if I was using like a gaming computer or something like that, but I do try my hardest to entertain you guys, and although I don't always do it the most frequently, and although I did plummet in views quite quite a bit, I went from like getting about 500 views or 500 to 1000 views on my Craft and Dead videos to 1 to 200. I know that's, that is a significant drop, and I'm just glad that the people that are still here are still here. I do appreciate you guys. You guys are the ones that I really appreciate. So, I just wanted to thank you all for sticking with me, you know, and the people that are watching this and hearing this now. Not everyone that's wa that watches Crafting Dead is going to see this video and hear what I'm saying, but the people that have, you know, the, the guys and, you know, the guys and gals and, you know, everyone that's watching this, the people that are watching this and hearing this now, I appreciate you. And, um, really thank you so much for sticking with the channel and watching the videos, you know. Um, we did go ahead and complete the main structure of the house in this episode, so by next episode we'll be moving on to something else. And if you did enjoy me rambling on and getting a little bit sense sentimental towards the end of this video, um, if you did enjoy this episode, Make sure you stick around for the next one, which will be out very, very soon. And by that, I mean tomorrow. I just I just say very, very soon, because, I mean, it is very, very soon. So, make sure you stick around for the next one. And I will see you all in the next video. Goodbye!